Okay. So thus, uh, I tried to explain in uh, chat, and I didn't quite get my point across. Uh, this was the maneuver you had set up, and you were quite happy with it. And then I suggested, well, you should add some, you should burn a radial, I said. And you were like, no. And that's fine, because obviously burning radial is stupid, right? Well, if you combine that with the maneuver you already had set up, like first you set up this so you have a capture, right? And then if you add radial, like you're getting so much bang for your buck compared to to leaving it as it was. Let's let's make it like so. And then you add some sort of circularization maneuver here, like so you got this initial. Well, the man is not in the same phase for me obviously but um, you had this initial maneuver of 130 and then you add this maneuver of uh, whatever you are at hang on, let's move that around of 190 and then you end up going wherever you want with whatever little delta v you have so i mean yes this maneuver gets more expensive uh, rather than just doing uh, uh, a retrograde burn but I mean, to get to get down to the man or well. Now, of course, that ruins my my entire demonstration. Let's do it like that, a um, bit more or less retro, whatever that was. But yeah, you can get down to to a low curb in Perry for for wine ninety seven, which was basically the cost of doing the maneuver back here. But you're not doing the the retro separately so this is all about combining vectors you want to you want to do as many burns as possible at the same time and uh, splitting up the maneuver to first do a retro and then do a retro over here rather than doing a retro here and at the same time adjusting your parry instead of adjusting your parry while you're over there makes a lot more sense that's that's what i tried to get across uh, I love your stream, so don't take this as an insult or anything, but uh, yeah. Just wanted to point that out, that out what, I, what I tried to get across. Uh, thank you.